And our next speaker for this session is uh, Simona Kasterovic uh, about uh, probabilistic reasoning on uh, typed combinatory terms. Yeah. Combinatory Thank terms. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. So today I'm going to present a joint work with Sylvia Gilesan, and uh, this talk will consist of two parts. In the first part, I will talk about logic of combinatory logic, or LCL for short. And in the second part, I will talk about its probabilistic extension. So uh, for the logic of combinatory logic, I will briefly present its syntax, axiomatization, semantics, and results that we obtained. And the second part is more some ongoing work. So this logic of combinatory logic, how we call it, is actually classical propositional logic defined over a simply typed combinatory logic. So we consider simply typed combinatory logic. So we have a set of terms, we have a set of simple types, and what we focus on is the set of uh, statements of the form M has type sigma. But we do not take all statements of this form where n can be any term and sigma can be any type. We just take statements that can be typed in some context. And then uh, that set of statements we close under the negation and implication classical propositional connectives. And this grammar here actually, oh, yeah, okay, I won't use that. So this grammar here actually defines the syntax of the logic LCL. So it's basically ca classical propositional logic over the simply typed combinatory logic. And since it's, it is obtained from uh, these two systems, then we have defined the axiomatization of LCL, also uh, combining the axiomatization for classical propositional logic and type assignment system for uh, simply typed combinatory logic. So we have eight axioms, hymns, and one inference rule. And uh, in these axioms, hymns, you can see that the first three axioms, hymns, deals with uh, typing combinators, SKI. Then uh, the fourth is obtained from the typing rule for typing the application. The fifth is obtained from the rule that is uh, yeah, sometimes added to the type assignment system in order to ensure that uh, the terms that are equal will have the same type. And uh, the last three axioms, hymns, are actually from the axiomatic system for uh, classical propositional logic. The inference rule is modus ponens, again, from the uh, axiomatic system for classical propositional logic. As I said, uh, uh, I will present syntax, axiomatization. I already did that part, and I want to say also what are the semantics or the models for LCL. So we start with the notion of an applicative structure, which we have defined as this tuple consisting of uh, some non-empty set D called domain. Then we have a family of uh, subsets of D, so for each uh, type sigma we have a subset A sigma, uh, which is a subset of D. We have a binary operation defined on D and uh, elements of the domain SKI, which, uh, I, which have to uh, satisfy certain properties. I'm not going here into the details. I don't have time, but um, I, was just, uh, I just want to present the general idea of the system. And how we obtain an LCL model? Well, we provide an applicative structure with evaluation, where evaluation is actually uh, a map from variables to the domain. What are the main results of this part of the work? Well, we have proved that uh, the axiomatization I presented is sound and complete with respect to the semantics I just defined. And all this was just the introduction for the second part. So we needed these results in order to define something that uh, we, called, uh, we call here PCL, that is a system for probabilistic reasoning about type terms. And it actually presents a probabilistic extension of LCL. I will start maybe from the idea. So how we started working on this, we were looking at probability logics developed uh, by a group of researchers from in Belgrade. 
and over, overview of some of those probabilistic logics can be found in this book by Ognjanovic, Rashkovic, and Markovic. One of these logics is this LPP2 logic. So what they did here is they take classical propositional formulas alpha, they apply probability operators on uh, those formulas where this formula P greater than or equal to S alpha has a meaning that probability that alpha is true is greater than or equal to S. And then they closed the set of probabilistic formulas under uh, classical negation and conjunction. Our idea was to, uh, to study similar system where alpha is not a classical propositional formula, but an LCL formula. So basically, um, the language of LPP2 can be seen as, uh, two, as uh, it has two layers. The first basic layer is classical propositional logic, and the second is this probability layer. And what we wanted to do in this uh, basic uh, layer where we have uh, classical propositional logic instead of uh, propositional letters to have uh, statements M has type sigma. So here uh, we have a syntax of PCL logic. Again, I want to say what is the axiomatization and what is the semantics of this logic. Since PCL is obtained by defining probability logic over an LCL logic, we uh, define the axiomatization as combination of axiomatizations of these two systems. So an LCL, the LCL axiomatization we already saw a few slides ago. And uh, axiomatic system for, for probability logic consists of these seven axiom themes and again, modus ponens. So the first axiom theme uh, actually deals with these uh, classical propositional connectives that connect probability formulas. And the other six axiom themes uh, are about this uh, probability operator that we added uh, to the system. And uh, the last part of this PCL is the semantics. That is, I'm going to give the idea of the semantics. As I said, it's still an ongoing work. So we want to define the semantics as a structure where we have first the set of possible worlds. And the idea is that each possible world will uh, represent an LCL applicative structure. After, uh, so besides this W, we will have a family of valuations, which means that for each world we will have a valuation rho W. So uh, a world with this valuation will, will actually give an LCL model. And uh, in addition, we have age and algebra of subsets and uh, finitely additive probability measure, which uh, will be actually employed in the interpretation of this uh, probability operator. We already presented um, the idea of defining system like this in these two papers, but uh, there we are trying to do this with some existing models of combinatory logic and lambda calculus. And uh, at that point, we, are lo we were looking at the system as a whole, and we were having some troubles with proving the completeness of the system. So we decided to take a step back and to look first at the basic level, so without any probabilistic operators, to look just uh, the state, uh, typing statements closed under negation and contraction, and that's why we actually uh, considered LCL first, and then uh, now we are extending it with uh, probability operators. So what are uh, the goals? What is the next step? Well, next step is prove soundness and completeness of this, uh, this axiomatization with respect to the semantics I just, uh, I just defined. And uh, we believe that now it should be straightforward to prove it because uh, now we have uh, soundness and completeness at that basic level for LCL formulas and in our semantics, uh, these, it, it will be very important that these worlds will, uh, actually will be an LCL model. So we could use uh, the, the results of soundness and completeness for LCL in order to prove soundness and completeness of this PCL system. So that is in short, thank you. Are there any questions? I 
can run around the room. So um, if I'm understanding it correctly, uh, one of the basic statements is that you're making is that like there's a probability of a certain term having a certain type. I was wondering if you kind of give us a little bit of an intuitive idea of like what, what does that mean to state that? Uh, okay, yes. Uh, so basically in this, uh, in this uh, PCL system, one of the statements would be like probability that M has type sigma is greater than S, but of course it's alpha is not just uh, M has type sigma, it can also be different types, type statements connected with uh, propositional connectives, like pro probability that if M has type sigma, then N will have uh, type tau and so on. And uh, for start, we decided to work with simple types just to keep things as simple as possible, but we are interested to see what will happen in some like more expressive systems. Any other question? So maybe that's a follow-up on the previous question. Uh, do you think there would be a possibility to uh, adapt these techniques on uh, <coughs> uh, calculi, like a probabilistic lambda calculus, or uh, calculi where the computation itself is uh, not deterministic? Yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. I also ha done some work with that probabilistic lambda calculus where uh, we have that uh, operator, probabilistic operator on computation. Uh, well, for now, we did not uh, study that connection because we were dealing with uh, proving this soundness and completeness, but definitely now once we, we have this system and we see that it does, it, it's uh, sound and complete, we also want, we would like to see what is the connection with that probabilistic lambda calculus. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so if there is no other question, we can move on to the next talk. Thanks again. <laughs>